So, hi ma'am, have a good day. So, after reading first to third paragraph by Paul Roberts entitled How to Say Nothing in 500 Words, it is, it's all about happenings about uh, Friday afternoon that it's going to be a weekend uh, wherein there is a task to do which an English instructor says he or she needs to pass a 500 words composition on college football and it talks about in the last part it talks about what consists of 500 words so that's it po. while in the fourth to fifth paragraph naman po is i understand about it it talks about the the reasons why the the college football should be abolished and also uh, it also talks about the of what accomplishments is done by the 500 words and then uh, it talks about the English in instructor says to them of what the other tasks to do in the afternoon like I mean in the weekend po like in the Sunday Sunday morning or uh, Sunday night and Saturday night po. And in the numbers uh, 6 to 14, I understand there that while in the 4th to 5th paragraph or the reason why college football should be abolished, here naman po sa 6 to 14 are their opinions about it like their thoughts about it and uh, to, to why should college football should be abolished and also they're talking about Robert Hutchins article and the interesting part of it and one thing is what best describes of a football and about making those subjects in the last part so next part is from the numbers 15 to 19 so for me it states there that uh what to do or what will be placed in uh in that argument that it connected from the previous um paragraphs but that it talks about the college football should be abolished so i don't know like it states there what the what compose of that particular or what what is uh, do's and don'ts while making that argument po. And then to avoid the obvious content of that particular argument. So next naman po is from the numbers 20 to 23. So it's like a uh, simple understanding lang naman po for me that it talks about uh, there are the ways on how the particular writer into his or her papers to take the side of his or her argument like uh, like uh, me po as a writer like for example on how I'm going to 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 take my side of my particular readers that uh, even though they are going to avoid it or not on, on how I'm going to, to to argue my argument po. So, next naman po is for, uh, from the numbers 24 to 28. So, I understand there that it it uh, it is only talks about the essay on college football. Why college football is bad for the players that as a writer, like for example me, I need to have a a strong point or a strong uh, statement to be to believe my readers specific readers like that and also i need to have a concrete facts uh, uh like uh some concrete examples strong arguments and um while in the last part naman po as a writer i understand that i need to like for example i need to have a more uh i need to be more concrete in my argument so next naman po is while here from the numbers 29 to 35 naman po is uh, just like a simple understanding naman lang naman po from me is it states that uh, as a writer 
you need to look or you need to go for a better way in constructing or expressing the words or your words to the readers. So, next naman po are the numbers from 36 to 40. So, for me, it talks about the comparison of the words like which is better or uh, more appropriate to use that as a writer should consider. While in the last part naman po is it states that the writings in the modern uh, world like nowadays that... Uh, we cannot all together those to avoid jargons, which um, based on my uh, research, uh, uh, these jargons are the specialized language used by people or in the same work or professions. So next what are the numbers from 41 to 45 that for me it states all about pa uh, path expressions that writers should be aware about it that it is used to find frequently occurring or repeated substrings in a text. Also, the difference between good and poor writers when it comes to these uh, expressions called the path expressions. While from the numbers 45 to 50 naman po, based on my um, own understanding, it talks about on how colorful words are and it talks about the different ways on how to on how to build them like in an essay and as a writer or a reader um you see on how you're going to uh through with it and uh while in the last part it states there the differences among each century on how good the writer is so, next naman po is the second to the last, which is the numbers from uh, 51 to 56. So, for me, it states the meaning of a word precisely. Also, I see the effects of uh, such words on how the writer or the writers express it in a particular writing or an essay to the readers. And such uh, writers should be careful for their thoughts or call uh, I mean and or their words to the different kinds of readers that they might think wisely they might I mean they might uh, write wisely like that and to the last part or the last paragraph numbers from 57 to 58 based on my own understanding it states that uh, in the first part that Paul Robert explained how the most student writers write also he reminds that as a writer you should be aware also of the nouns and to the other aspects of writings and overall the writer itself gave uh, some very influential and very uh, informative information especially to those writers and or to those uh, different kinds of writers so that's all, ma'am. Thank you.